Hello, hello, beautiful people. Welcome back to a brand new video. And before we start today's video, I would just like to say a massive thank you to everyone who subscribed on our latest video. We have gotten so many new subs and welcome everyone. However, the plan for today is gonna be a little bit all over the place. I do wanna start off by getting a Mage Arena cape. I'm not sure if I'm gonna go for Mage Arena 1 or Mage Arena 2, probably Mage Arena 2. And uh, firstly, I do wanna finish 78 Herblor. This is where we are starting. 78 Herblor is going to allow allow me to make brews in raids, which is gonna be really important. And I also wanna get 99 range. Here we go, 78 Herblor, and as you can see, we can now make Buchu Potions, which is basically the whole reason for that grind. It's incredibly hot, so it's going to be right here. Yeah, maybe it doesn't even spot, spawn it. Here we go, Ant Roots, the very first, uh, first boss defeated. We still need to kill two more though, hopefully in one inventory. Here we go, the second one, <laughs> Pesdir defeated. And here we go, perfect, we've gotten all three. Now all we need to do is make it to the Mage Arena safely, and we got ourselves an imbued cape. All right, here we go, we've done all three capes, and that means we can now imbue a cape. Now I'm gonna go with Zami, I always go with Zami. Some people prefer others, I don't really care. There's the imbued Zamora cape, and we can TP away straight into the Grand Exchange. Very happy that I have this done, however, if I die, I have to do it again. You can never protect this, I think. I'm gonna try to put it in the bank and just see if I lose it on death. Looks like I don't actually lose it on death. Maybe they changed it. I'm not sure. Either way, um, we did it in Australian world, felt the safest that way, and now we have the best cape in the game to show for it. All right, so the future on the account is very, very relaxing at this point. We are pretty much just uh, finishing off 99 range and doing DT at some point. Now, I did just get Kurask, so what I plan on doing is actually skipping a bunch of tasks until I have a good one, and then I'll do that task after sleep. Um, I do want to also complete Desert Treasure when I wake up, so right now I'm just preparing for tomorrow. Well, look at this guy, Screaming Banshee. <laughs> Wait, what is this? Look at him! He's pointing finger at my forehead! Look! That's so- Wait, that's like 6k XP right there. Holy shit. That was hilarious. Quarm Potions, Limpurd Roots, thank you very much. Come on, is this one the one? Cave Kraken, 174 of them. I think I can happily go to sleep with this task in the inventory. I guess tomorrow we go for more. 15 million magic experience is just not enough. This side quest finally completed. This quest is much easier than I remember it to be. <laughs> we just got 10 fletching very quickly because I forgot to get that done before the actual level. Let's go ahead and uh, make our dart now. Alright, and here we go. The Tori's Trap quest was also completed. This one is very annoying, pretty hard. Alright, let's put our 35 uh, Marks of Grace to good use and buy ourselves a Graceful Hood. Because uh, we are questing anyways, we need some uh, weight reduction for the next part of the quest. Alright, we choose the good side, I think, and the Lucian is dead. Therefore, the quest should here be completed. Uh, Temple Vykov done, Troll Stronghold completed. Small tip if you're doing Waterfall, don't just drop your items next to Gladiator's Tombstone because anyone who's coming by can see it in that manual. So come up here, drop your items up here, then climb down and then go inside. So now even if someone goes through, there's a very small chance they will actually go up this ladder and pick up your stuff. And at this point in the quest, we just use the urn on the chalice and there we go. A Waterfall is also completed. Oh! Oh! Ah! Uh. Hey, it's the one. And here we go, the first shadow diamond completed. Yeah, <coughs> Kurva. Camille defeated, Ice Diamond. Dezu defeated, Blood Diamond achieved. Path is now lit, Diamond achieved. Boom, bam, boom, bam, there we go. All diamonds are in place, let's finish off the pyramid. Here we go, first time, pyramid, first try. We talked to Azandra and the quest was, is, will be, is about to be completed. Very nice. English quite didn't work there, unfortunately, but there we go. One of the most important quests in the game. However, we are going to change back to normal spellbook as we do have the Kraken task. And we also have 99 magic and the cape in our bank. Therefore, we can swap it around however we want, whenever we want. Very happy with the completion of that. I can now focus on getting up to 40 mining. We just finished 41 mining. This will allow me to get myself a rune pickaxe which I will then use inside raids. Now the last thing that I need to be fully raid ready would technically be to do some farming and I would realistically probably need to get like 39 farming maybe 55 
Um, however, if I'm raiding in a group, because I don't really know how to solo raid that well, I can just have them plant and uh, I have enough Herblore to make potions, for example. So I don't think that's necessary, but I will still do it. I got 50 mining real quick and now I'm gonna do... I mean, I got 50 wood cutting real quick and now I'm gonna do more mining so I do the room in the raids faster. And there we go, 61 mining also accomplished. That means we can now get ourselves a dragon pick eventually and it's just all in all more helpful for one specific room inside raids. Just decided to get 61 wood cutting. it's also gonna help a little bit with the raids but uh, mainly I've done it because I've been waiting for Frenchie to be available. There is another thing that I want to do that I haven't done yet on the account and that is to get a Zerishian Stalisman. Now all the favor is already on 100% and if I do decide to do raids eventually we will then be able to unlock a teleport straight to raids. Now before that it is still useful for a teleport to a different location um, but with that being said let's go ahead and hunt for one. So far I've been cannoning here in multi for exactly 10 minutes, uh, the paranoia is a little bit softer right now. Now that I know that I could technically just walk to this square right here and the combat is singles right over here. So if it's singles then I can just finish my kill and instantly teleport out. So it's not even this bad. Um, however, as you can see I'm just collecting Lizardman Fangs and I'm also going to be collecting uh, Xeric Talisman. As soon as we get it we're out of here, hopefully it doesn't take me too long. However. As you can see, the range XP is totally comparable to something like Bloodveld's, uh, if not better. So it's actually really, really good. So I don't mind being here as long as I don't die. Uh, but yeah, let's see how long it takes me. Oh my god, where is it? Oh my god, I got it, but I don't know where it is. Oh, there it is. It's in singles. There we go, we got it. Holy shit, it took me 10 minutes. 10 minutes and we got it. So we can now charge it with the Lizardman Fangs. Um, oh, there's another one. What the fuck? That means we can have 100 more actually. So I'm gonna put this right there, pick this up. We got two, so I can dismantle one for pretty much 100 teleports. So yeah, we've done it. What I wanted to say is, well, I don't even know if it's worth it. I think it's just better to keep two. Let's say I were I were to die for some reason, I just have another one in bank. However, if I do run out of charges, I can dismantle one for 100 teleports. However, I already have, as I said, 16 here, so that should be more than enough. Okay, here we go. Frenchy is going to help us reach our dream of 99 prayer. So let's go ahead and trade him all the bones. And let's uh, go ahead and train. 86. Looking at the XP and the XP I'm gaining per hour, it looks like it will take me 2 hours to finish off 99 prayer. 87. 88. 89. 90 prayer. 91. There we go. 92 prayer. We are officially halfway to 99. 93. 94. 95. 97. Oh! I didn't miss it. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. This one would not be possible without I'm Frenchy. He's been running the bones for me, as you can see here, for pretty much 2 hours. And there it is, 99 prayer is accomplished on deadman mode. Can you believe it that the only 99 missing basically is the 99 range? That is really really insane, very happy with this one being done. If you're wondering what I'm protecting is HP and prayer. I don't mind retraining these stats if I, am, if I were to die with a skull. And on top of that, this 99 it was pretty expensive, like at least 6 mil I think. But yeah, it is done and... Uh, we're also level 126 combat, so that's pretty nice. One thing we still haven't done is we did not buy our magic cape yet. So there we go. This cape is actually going to be extremely useful because we can change our spellbook straight into ancients. And that's basically what we're going to be doing here. Just need to do a moat real quick. So the way it works is you just right click spellbook ancients. And there we go. Now we have our barrage runes right here. If we get attacked, we can uh, comfortably fight back. That was pretty much the goal. And now we can go and do some Kraken. And if we get hit, we can fight back. So it's gonna be pretty exciting. Here we go, boys. We just got another ancient emblem. Oh, there it was, 96 Slayer. I didn't even know that was happening. I pretty much stopped going for Slayer level ever since 95. Because that's basically the max level I need for Hydra or whatever I decide to do in the future. But that's a pretty nice level. I thought I was TB'd. You'll be logged out in approximately 5 minutes. Oh, Arctic Emblem. Ha, huh, another one. We got over 16 million magic XP already from just doing Kraken tasks. And Trident gives you very little XP actually. But I do think this is going to be the last cave Kraken task I do on this account. Since I do have another Kraken spared if I were to die. Oh my god, yes. Yes, dude. <laughs> 
<laughs> Another one. Seventh trident. Let's just dip real quick. So everyone is spamming how lucky I am, but here's the truth, right? So if we go in the um if we go in the gem, the drop rate is one in two hundred, and I have killed one thousand one hundred and forty seven. So I should have six tridents, but I have seven instead. So am I really this insanely lucky? Eh, I'd say I'm lucky, but not that insanely lucky, you know what I mean? Okay, cannonable task, so we can finish off 99 range for the end of this video. Black demons, yes, I know that one really cool spot for the black demons, and we're gonna utilize it right now. There it is, 95 range, four more levels to go. If I'm getting 1.5 mil an hour, I still have to do quite a lot of hours of range training if I want to max that out today, so let's see if we finish it off. Ooh, arcane emblem, let's go! <laughs> <laughs> Archic emblem. <laughs> no, I'm at it. emblem. Woo! We are all the way up to 96 range. Almost out of cannonballs, though, so that kind of blows a little bit. Three more levels to go. Two more hours ish. Holy moly. I guess I can do it today. Alright, just a little bit short. Oh no, just right. Look. Zero cannonballs. Task completed. What are the chances, man? Okay. Bloodveld's perfect task. There it is, 97 range, only two more levels to go. XP per hour is pretty poo, because I'm trying to edit whilst killing this. Yeah, not a good combination, but anyways, two more levels to go. Let's do it, I think I can finish it all off today. 147 Black Demons, thank you. A good task that gives a lot of experience. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we're grinding our range. We're not giving up until we're 99, but we have another swap for one of the tridents. So we're giving Tequila Zerk a trident, and he is giving us 60 mil. I'd say a fairly decent trade, uh, judging by the fact that we have three available tridents. So we're gonna accept it here and accept it here first. I'm trying not to die on my Black Demon account. So here we go, we accept him first. Boom, that's 60 mil extra. And now we accept him right here and he gets the trident. Very nice trade for both of us, I'd say. The reason why Tridents are still this expensive is because every team wants to raid. The more people, the better. And uh, now to make sure how much we've made in 07 so far in this tournament, we have made almost 400 million. Very nice. Task done, almost 98 uh, range. I, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's see if Niv gives us better cannonable tasks. I did just skip one, and the second one, Black Dragons, it's faster to do rather than skip. And here we go, 98 range, ladies and gentlemen. It's getting pretty late, the video should be out already, but you know what, I'm getting one more level. I've been pretty unlucky with the tasks, I'm keep, I keep skipping, and uh, yeah, I'm not getting any good ones, but yeah, let's get this final level. Greater Demons, let's go ahead and do it in Chasm or Chasm of Fire. Fairly scared of this task, I don't really mule all my gear, there's quite a lot of stuff that I lose if I die, however, I did make this portal just for this reason, so I can enter Chasm of Fire much much easier, so yeah, let's see if I can do this task without any complications. And there we go, 97 Slayer. I do think in this DMM eventually I will go for 99 Slayer. However, for this video there's this one more level that's bugging me. It's so late, so if this video is a little bit later than usual, well, here's your reason. Oh, and this is a... Uh, looks to be a pick... No, never mind, it's not a pick airman. Um, yeah, basically, almost out of cannonballs, still 800,000 XP to get. Probably about half an hour, then I still need to render the video and upload the video. So, yeah, if it's a bit late, it's because this level doesn't want to happen. I can't believe I used to skip this task. Look at it. 1.7 mil XP an hour, cannoning fast, Slayer XP. God damn, I just didn't know it was this good, I'm gonna be honest. Anyways, I think one more good task will do it. Let's go. Alright, Fire Giants will do, I think. Boys, all I'm gonna say is, if you made it this far in the video, you may as well ring the bell! Oh my CV, oh my CV! It is happening, I did it, I really pushed through it to reach this one. 99 range accomplished on the account, and not only that, we also have 99 HP, attack, strength, defense, prayer, magic, 
Oh, and that's it. <laughs> Basically, we got a lot of 99s. Now, before I end this video, there was one more thing I wanted to check, and that is how long it actually took me to achieve this. Now, when you watch the video, you just watch the highlights, but there is a lot of time that goes behind the scene in order to achieve the certain levels and in order to achieve certain the drops. So, we're gonna talk to our boy Hans right here in the Lumbridge castle and ask him about the age so I've spent 3 days and 22 hours and 4 minutes in this world and I basically spent about 94 hours achieving all of these stats and the dead node has been out for about 131 hours I think at this point so you can do the calculations of how much time actually goes into making these videos and if you can appreciate that I will appreciate a simple like on this video with that being said, I do hope you enjoyed. Sorry that this video is a little bit late and I will see you again probably in two days because I don't think I can get one video a day anymore now that we're finished grinding stats. The account progression will transition into receiving drops so the progress of the uploads will maybe slow down by one day uh, but that is just something I have no control over. With that being said, thank you very much for watching and I'll see you again on the live stream tomorrow. Bye-bye.